I'd like to introduce to you a new app from Z Systems. This is Access Online, which is an import utility for QuickBooks Online. So we've developed this application in response to feedback that we've received from our desktop customers over the years. They've been looking to move their businesses into the cloud and are looking for a full suite of cloud applications. Secondly, there were many users who were been on Apple products and didn't weren't able to use Access Desktop as it was written for Windows. Thirdly, they were looking for a pay per use model for their software. And finally, they were looking for something that was deeply integrated into QuickBooks Online. So with those main customer requests in mind, we went about designing from the ground up a new app that was gonna revolutionize the way that data is imported into QuickBooks Online. I'll show you a demonstration now of how Access Online can make the importing of transactions or lists into QuickBooks Online as easy and as simple and as smart as you come to expect with our product range. So for this demonstration, I've opened up a, uh, a browser and I've logged into my QuickBooks Online um, company file and I'm going to select the apps menu and then launch access online from a list of apps that this file is connected to so when you first start your trial you'll go through a process of giving access permission to connect with your QuickBooks online company file so click in the launch button and it will automatically log Z access online in using your QuickBooks Online login details. So you don't need any separate login details in order to connect to or open Access Online, which makes it a lot simpler. So here we have um, the first screen, which is the dashboard, and it gives you a record of um, how many um, transactions you've imported, how many errors you've encountered, and how many overall um, import events have occurred. And below this, you get a summary of the most recent transactions that were imported. So first off, you've got a, a, a historical record of what's been imported and what errors have occurred during that process. So the, sec the second screen is what we call the access screen. And these are the, um, if you like, the mappings or uh, types of configurations of import processes that have been done in the past. And what we're going to do for this demonstration, I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to give it a test name invoice. So that will give the ax a name which we can then reuse on subsequent imports. And the type of connection or we're going to import in is a file upload. And here we support um, text, Excel, IIF type files that can be uploaded into QuickBooks Online. And we're going to use a in this example we're going to use a text file that contains the invoices that we're going to upload into quickbooks online now save will then begin the upload process and you'll get a message that tell us that that has successfully been updated so that's step one of configuring our axe to um, upload those files so next we're going to select the event that's going to occur so it will be a file upload and we're going to select the type of transaction that will be created when that file upload occurs we'll click next and what you'll see is all the available fields that you can in the quickbooks invoice that you can map to so this is very similar to the desktop experience at this point so we're going to basically match those up um, according to the columns in your import file, match those up to the fields in QuickBooks Online. So you also have the option to set constants and also set functions for these mappings. And if you're familiar with that with our desktop product, you'll know exactly how those work, but you can refer to additional demonstrations of those. Can then go through, these are what the section is for the header section of the invoice. So once we've mapped in the document number and so on, we can then go down and map in the 
corresponding line sections of the invoice. So we're going to put in the description and the amount and so on, the item and the quantity. You also have the opportunity to put in constants. So we'll save the mapping and it'll give you a success message. Now the nice thing about this mapping area, we can display just the map fields so you can see what sections have been mapped in and so on. So we can see just the fields that have been mapped. Um, and we have a selection for auto numbering. So we'll select that on and we'll save the mapping. Click next and you get a preview of all the fields that have been mapped and are going to be imported. So at this stage four, we can see um, what data has been mapped and we can select rows. We even have the opportunity to edit these if we need to. It's very similar to the desktop again. So we're, if we're happy with that, we can then begin the process of importing it directly into QuickBooks Online. And you'll see the results of the import process here. We can actually go through. We have the ability to view those transactions directly in QuickBooks Online. And it will open the transaction and show you the contents of what's been imported. And there's the invoice that we just imported using um, access online. So when we finish, we can click close and that's it. The process has been completed. So back at the, um, the overall summary screen, we can have a look and um, preview the import transactions that were imported today, as well as the process, the number of uploads that occurred. And we can see the results in this screen here. So that's very simply how Access Online has taken a, a successful desktop product and moved it into a cloud-based application that has all the benefits that our, our customers have asked for. So we do have um, various packages available for this. So there is a free 100, which gives us um, you know, 100 messages per month, and that's for um, an ongoing free package. And then we have other options here, which is a solo, which is up to 500 messages, which is um, $119.40 um, per, per year. What I recommend is you go and have a trial, see how you go, and um, please give us any feedback. Um, we're interested to make any improvements that you see necessary. Mm -hmm.